Oh, I'm very fortunate to be part of a, we have an opioid task force at the university where it brings together a broad group of people that are in practice and in research um, to address opioids. And I um, am always impressed at those meetings at all of the work that's, that's being done from the basic scientists that are working on um, trying to find ways to create pain medications that are non-addictive and just doing work on opioids in general and other ways to um, to, to reach the brain, to turn off pain signals, like the, the research there is amazing. Um, and then we have people that do research and practice on ac accessing treatment for substance use, trying to figure out how do we make treatment more accessible? How do we improve our treatment outcomes? How do we reach the populations that are really um, suffering the most? Um, you have people like me that are doing work with harm reduction across the state. So harm reduction is increasing access to naloxone, um, the life-saving drug to reverse opioid overdose, um, and other harm reduction be um, access to clean syringes. I also do work with the recovery community and others do that as well. So really um, research with what the recovery community is focused on, what are we doing well and what do we need to do better? Um, so I would say there's just a, an incredible amount of research and really impacting all different areas of the opioid crisis. Um, and really collectively, we're trying to talk to each other to make sure that we are, um, you know, we don't want to duplicate any services, but we also want to find ways where we can learn from each other and um, collaborate better and really reach new populations.